Hello YouTube. Hopefully the wind's not messing over the audio, but we have ourselves a bit of a video. Well, of course, as you know, um, I like working on bicycles. I have quite the uh, collection of bicycles, and well, sometimes they uh, have, you know, reach a point where they need to be stripped or scrapped out, and basically they need to go. So, of course, the other night, um, I got me digging around in my, well, storage unit, and pretty much, uh, you know, came up with, uh, well, about 15 of the bikes that basically have to go. I know it sucks to get rid of them, but at the same time, you know, how long did they sit there before I actually get at them? You know, there's a classic, um, I don't know, mid-90s Norco here that, you know, I always thought of fixing up, but at the same time, you know, it's a mid-90s Norco, right? The uh, geometry's off, the brakes are kind of outdated, the shifting system's outdated, and you know how that goes, right? And of course, there's another full suspension bike here. Uh, it sat under a guy's deck and it got all rusty. The tires uh, rotted away, but the rims are good. And of course, the red bike here, you guys have probably seen in previous videos, um, they, uh, it's been saved two or three times from scrapping, but it's not going to be saved this time. And of course, the new bike here that needs a crank, but I never did find a crank for it. And when I did find one, I ended up scrapping it out. Um, of course, you can see by the dust on, well, that bike there. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. But you could tell how long, well, that one, for example, has been sitting. So, to, of course, there was another 10 that went with this, but there's a bit of a story to that one. Of course, I had me another rack in there that had, uh, well, wheels and tires on it. Of course, these... Of course, these are the good wheels and tires, because I don't save bent wheels, you know, rims or nothing like that. But unfortunately, you know, they have to go as well. So I, you know, loaded them on up, and basically here they are now. But of course, through uh, family and friends, there was a young kid that uh, took an interest in fixing bikes. He's like 13 now, and he, you know, needed some parts and that. So of course they brought him on over and he dug through my bicycle hoard and he chose, well, some of the choice ones that actually that, uh, you know, I would have chose uh, myself. Uh, there's a Norco Wolverine here, aluminum frame, really, really nice bike. It needs a back rim and a front suspension fork. I'm not sure if he understood what I was saying when I was talking about a seized fork, but he definitely, definitely liked that bike. Then of course there's the dyno here, nice radical frame. I think he wanted that for himself. This one here he wants to fix up for his sister. It's pretty much all there. Um, I'd replace the white rotted front tire though. And of course as you see by the dust on this CCM, it's been there for a while. A nice full suspension bike, but it needs a uh, front suspension fork again. And this one here is kind of the same story. It sat under a guy's deck and got rusty, but it's all there still. And he dug through some of my rims and tires and kind of picked what he thought he needs. So of course, um, kind of the time has come to hook the old Silverado up to the trailer there and, well, haul them all away. Uh, probably not going to film the dumping and the goings, but uh, you guys pretty much gets the idea. I'm not really one that's good with change. So it kind of gets me a lot to have to get rid of these, but at the same time, you know, they, uh, they kind of got to go. But that concludes the video here for basically thinning out my bicycle hoard yet once again. Um, of course, uh, me being me, probably in another year, I will have another, you know, 10, 15 bikes that I've picked up, bought, you know, uh, all that good stuff to, well, basically replenish it. But until then, uh, well, she's nice and thinned out now, got room to move and even room to work. So as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.